Greetings NMSDC Network. As we continue to deal with the challenges of COVID-19, I want to reassure you that NMSDC and our affiliate councils are continuing to advance our mission of connecting minority businesses to corporate supply chain needs. This doesn't mean just focusing on the sourcing needs of today, but ensuring we have capable minority businesses positioned to deliver business solutions in the future. That's why our collective support of MBEs is more critical now than any other time in our recent history. As I shared with you previously, the NMSDC network is doing our part by bringing you virtual solutions via webcasts, webinars, and other innovative programming to ensure you are provided the necessary resources to sustain your business operations. Each Thursday at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, we will continue to host our virtual town hall discussions in collaboration with our federal government officials and legislators, focused on the most critical business topics of the week. Now is the time that we need your support more than ever before. The nearly $350 billion in funding provided by the Small Business Administration to help sustain businesses through the Paycheck Protection Program was exhausted within 10 business days. And according to the SBA, 2% of the firms that were approved for loans accounted for almost 30% of the total funding. And while 74% of the total PPP loans approved went to businesses that borrowed $150,000 or less, these small businesses received only 17% of the total PPP dollars that were loaned. Now we've heard from many of our minority business owners that they were not able to access the funding through traditional banking sources, leaving them shut out of this lifeline. In fact, a survey of our MBEs found that more than half of them have submitted loan applications and are still waiting for a response. And to date, only 12% have actually received funding. The Senate has approved an additional $320 billion for small businesses, and we are working hard to ensure that minority businesses are addressed in this next round of stimulus package. So where do we go from here? Our 2019 economic impact study tied more than 500,000 jobs to our certified MBEs, with over $32 billion in wages earned. If we want to ensure a strong economic recovery as we look ahead, we must ensure our minority businesses are sustained to do business domestically and globally. Here's what I'm asking you to do. First, while most of our programming has moved to virtual delivery, we still must support our network operations, so we in turn can continue to support our constituents. We are asking you to not pull back at this time, but to lean in with us to help us as we innovate and improve our ability to support all of our constituents. Second, we're asking you to prioritize the utilization of minority businesses. It's been gratifying to see how many MBEs have pivoted their businesses to bring our corporate members products and services related to COVID-19. We have developed expedited services to help connect you faster with each other. Be on the lookout for our new website, nmsdccares.org, as well as our new hotline. This will serve as our one-stop shop resource for you to get all of the COVID-19 related information. Both of these will be launched in the coming days. And third, we are asking you to use your platforms to ensure that minority businesses are secured in the next round of funding. We know that lack of access to capital tends to impact minority businesses to a much greater degree. However, this is not about MBE growth, it's about survival. We want to ensure that when we come through this crisis, that we come through this crisis together and stronger. The health and well-being of our minority businesses are essential to the economic health of our country. Our mission aims to ensure that economic inclusion is the building block of American business. And we know it's possible, and we know that we can come through this together, because we are NMSDC. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay connected. And remember, minority business matters. <laughs>